don't know if you can hear that rain bashing off me back back door. You can see it run down me the glass on me back door. Look, it's biblical out there. Monsoon conditions. It's three o'clock in the afternoon. It still hasn't given up. So obviously I've been up from you on that. So you're gonna get a, a winch free vlog today. It's, it's good news. On the good on the good news front, me cheap carry more caracal waterproofs have had that first proper deluge to to test them out. And you, honestly, you couldn't get much worse. It, there's actually some come up this morning. I'm, I'm sure they said they were putting barriers up at the Newcastle Quayside in case the River Time was going to burst its banks. And I've just walked along my regular stretch from Newburn to... Well, I actually got the cottage and I was soaked. I thought I might as well get a few extra steps in. I went to the Wyland Bridge to see how, how high the water was up the turrets. And I had my overpants on and me Rab Bergen. So they're, they're, they've wet it out. There's only so much rain. I don't care how good you are. You know, you could be wearing a 400 quid Arcteryx or a top of the range mountain equipment waterproof coat and that. There's only so much rain they can put up with. And I had me um, pants I always wear like me mountain terrors because they're quick drying. And they were quite wet when I got back, but they're drying now. So anyway, the good news is me, me cheap carry mugs have had a, a good test and they've actually stood up to it. Quite impressed for 34 quid. Uh, normally, the blue ones I used to wear, that didn't have the, um, the waterproof membrane. I would come back and my feet were soaking, I would have to take my socks off. So I've gotten back and I've actually still got my socks on what I was wearing. They're 99.9% .9 dry. If I was being hypercritical, I could see that tiny, the tiniest bit dampness on the on the toe. But honestly, it's it's unnoticeable, really, to be fair. So the cheap membranes worked. It's don't forget they've had the water run off my over pants as well. Onto the gusset, because it's got like a gusset tongue, which is good. Um and they've, they've stored, up, stored up to it, like the, the waterproof forefoot. The only thing I'll say is I haven't been submerged in water. You know what I mean? Like if, if I was wearing them like up in the Chivets, North Pennines or the lakes, like in bogs and that, which, which I wouldn't. I'm hoping I'm hoping they're not going to get submerged in water. Um, but in the past, I've worn much better quality footwear than these and come back with wet feet. You know, like, like see, I bear scorpers, braciers, salamons, and the all is down eventually when the Gore-Tex linings went. So, is it really worth it? You know what I mean? When you can get a cheap, cheap carry more membrane and it's it's done the job, honestly. I'm putting my hand in there now and they're... Well, slightly, very, very slightly damp, honestly. That, but not uncomfortable, honestly. So, I'm quite happy with them. If I had to mark them out to 10 for what I paid for them, 34 quid, I would say 8, eight out of 10. Aye, uh, good 8 out of 10. Which is quite acceptable, I think, for a, for a cheap, you know, for a cheap... Cheap shoe, but that, that ideal just for you know kicking off your feet, going along the wagon ways and bridle paths. You know, if you're going to get it down poor, like we've like we'll certainly had the day, it's that bad. I've actually opened my diary for work and just put it across through every page and just said, Rained off, it's too wet now. There, that's not whinging, by the way. <laughs> I'm just saying it's you know, I'm just saying it how it is. I'm getting sick of myself whinging, <laughs> honestly. I am it's just one of them things we can't do now, but right. So, that's the good news. Me cheap carry mores. Have stood up to a good old batter in the day. And I was looking at the weather for the weekend. I thought, oh, it's drying up, which it looks like it is. It looks like it's drying up, but um, when I get strong winds, 40 mile hour gusts, it'll be even double that on the tops probably. Because I was just looking at the, I wasn't looking at the mountain, uh, the the mountain weather information. I was just looking at the Met Office for like, you know, like low ground, like low ground. Um, Forecast and see if we're going to get 40 mile hour gusts at the weekend. I thought, oh, I'll, I'll try and get her. I know why you'd come and cheer yourself up, but all the bad weather we've had and that and a bad start this season. <laughs> and uh, it's going to be massive gusts. So I thought, I, I was thinking, oh, I'll get a white camp in and come back Saturday, put my feet up and go on the bike on Sunday because I didn't go on the bike with Storm Kathleen. Sunday gone, I just went for a walk. Um, so if I dig, I knew it'll, have, it'll have be a hot night where I'm sheltered from the wind. We'll see. Catch us later. Stay dry if possible. <laughs>